Boeing and Bell Textron Incorporated delivered the first CMV-22B Osprey, which is the V-22 variant the U.S. Navy will use for transporting personnel and cargo to aircraft carriers and sea, Boeing announced on 10 February. The CMV-22B brings expanded capabilities not only to the carrier onboard delivery mission, but to the high-end fight, said U.S. Navy Captain Duan Cheney, Commodore, Fleet Logistics Multi-Mission Wing. We are anxious to get it to the fleet and show off its immense capabilities and agile flexibility. The U.S. Navy selected the Bell Boeing V-22 Osprey to replace the C-2A Greyhound fleet. Bell Boeing will deliver 48 of the Tiltwater aircraft. The CMV-22B, which first flew in December, carries up to 6,000 pounds for more than 1,150 nautical miles. It's the only aircraft that can transport major components of the F-35C engine directly to a carrier flight deck, a critical capability for Navy logistics and support. The Osprey will transform carrier fleet operations, said Kristen Houston, Vice President, Boeing Tiltwater Programs and Director, Bell Boeing V-22 Program. We've brought together the best teams for aircraft design, training, and sustainment to ensure the Navy is ready for any mission from day one. Navy aircrews and maintainers train with the U.S. Marine Corps, which has employed the V-22 since 2007, to accelerate the transition. The CMV-22B will be based at Naval Air Station North Island in San Diego, and Naval Air Station Norfolk. The V-22 program originally included the Navy 48 HV-22s, but none were ordered. In 2009, it was proposed that it replace the C-2 Greyhound for carrier onboard delivery COD, duties. One advantage of the V-22 is the ability to deliver supplies and people between non-carrier ships beyond helicopter range. Proponents said that it is capable of similar speed, payload capacity, and lift performance as the C-2, and can carry greater payloads over short ranges, up to 20,000 pounds, including suspended external loads. The C-2 can only deliver cargo to carriers, requiring further distribution to smaller vessels via helicopters, while the V-22 is certified for operating upon amphibious ships, aircraft carriers, and logistics ships. It could also take some helicopter rolls by fitting a 600 pounds hoist to the ramp, and a cabin configuration for 12 non-ambulatory patients, and 5 seats for medical attendants.